Welcome to Geography Nuts. We are glad to have you here. So today we are going to look at what is the longest river on earth? You may think it's a very simple question. It is, but with a very complicated answer. Since you are watching this video, it's safe to assume that you are interested in geography. So you must have seen the question, what is the longest river? Or somebody must have asked you this question, what is the longest river? We usually name one of the ones that we know without second thought. But if you look at actually what is the longest river, you may be surprised. Is this the right question to ask? Or the answer may surprise you. It's different than what you thought it would be. It is generally agreed. Two rivers, Nile and Amazon, are the longest river by far any of the other one. But which one is the longest? Let's look at the Nile River first. There is no doubt Nile is one of the longest river in the world. One of the most significant river in Africa. A lifeline for many communities as a source of irrigation, transportation and trade roads. Nile flows south to north through Africa. It begins in equatorial lake region of Africa and empties into Mediterranean Sea. In order to answer the question, what is the longest river on earth, we need to follow the path of the Nile. So we know for sure the Nile empties into Mediterranean Sea. So the end point is Mediterranean Sea. Where does it start? Let's go down the Nile and go through Egypt and enters into Sudan. As we go down the Nile, we will come to a spot where the Nile split into two branches. You can see it in the picture. There is two different branches. One is called a Blue Nile. The other one is called a White Nile because of its color. So let's follow the Blue Nile. As we follow the Blue Nile, we would go to Ethiopia and end in Lake Tana. So the beginning of Blue Nile is Lake Tana. At least so far, that's what everybody believes it is. So that's not the longest path. So let's go back and follow the White Nile. As we go down the Nile, we go to South Sudan. Then the Nile reaches Uganda and finally meet Lake Victoria. For the longest time, it's believed Lake Victoria is the source of Nile and this is where it begins. However, this is changing now. In 2006, a British explorer named Neil McGregor navigated down the Nile and found the furthest point and he claimed that's the source of the Nile which is River Kagira. Then in 2010 an exploration party found feeder rivers to River Kagira. Either Riviera or near Branco is believed to be the longest and furthest tributary to Nile. Did I confuse you? Let me see if I can simplify it. So the rivers near Barango or Rivieranza is the source of Nile. So they join it in Lake River Kakira and reach Lake Victoria, then becomes a white Nile and join with Blue Nile and reach Mediterranean Sea. That's the total length of Nile River as we know it now. So now we know the source of the Nile. But the distance is still a question. Do we look at where the Kakira enters and Nile leaves as a distance in Lake Victoria? Or do we measure the shore of Lake Victoria, which would add significant length to Nile? So what is the real length of Nile? The length of the Nile is still a debate. 
because it's not easy to measure. It's not like you can take a measuring tape and measure it. It's also the flow rate and the volume and the length changes over time because if it's a wet season or dry season or wet decay or dry decay. So really we don't know. Officially, Lake Victoria is still the source of Nile, but I think that is changing. There are more evidence suggests that um, Nile begins way before Lake Victoria. So at this point, the number could be anywhere between 6,650 kilometers to 6,800 kilometers. Hopefully, one day soon, we will know the length of Nile. But it seems like the upper limit is closer to 6,800 kilometers. Now that we sort of understand the length of Nile, let's look at the Amazon River. Amazon River is an intricate water system waving through one of the most vital and complex ecosystems in the world. Amazon River covers almost 40% of South America and is the lifeline for many communities as a source of irrigation, transportation and trade road, just like Nile. Amazon flows from west to east through South America. It begins in the Andes region of Peru and cross the continent and empties in Atlantic Ocean. So let's trace the longest path of the Amazon River. Similar to what we did at Nile, we will start from where is discharge in the Atlantic Ocean because we are certain the end point is Atlantic Ocean. So if we trace back all the way to the east, we will meet Aparamic River and this is believed to be the headwater or the source of Amazon until 2014. In 2014, Brazilian scientist made a discovery. The headwaters or the furthest point is Montrero. It's called Rio Montrero River in Peru. So the Montrero River looks similar in the map but it twists and turns and it's at the length, highest length to the Amazon. Based on the information we have, Rio Montrero River is the furthest source of Amazon River. So Rio Montrero River comes and joins Aparamic River and continues weaving and twisting and turning all the way to Atlantic Ocean. So this is a little bit straighter to find the length than Nile River. But there is still a controversy. So the length of the Amazon River is still a controversy and open to interpretation. It is believed from the Aparamic River, the Amazon River is 6,575 kilometer. And if you add Rio Montero River, it goes up to 6,800 kilometers. So, after all the research, discovery and determining the source of the river, we still don't know which one is the longest river. It depends on who you ask and which information do you believe. So, as of 2020, October, length of both Amazon and Nile remain open to interpretation and subject to continued debate. My point of view is we should not be asking the question what is the longest river on the earth or name the longest river anymore because we don't know. One day we probably will but that's not today. This is a very anticlimactic ending. You are probably thinking that you would be able to find the answer today. But I hope you enjoyed watching the video and learning the complexity regarding finding the length of the river. Here are some of the articles discussing which is the longest river. The debate is heating up as we find more and more information. The Guinness Book of World Record still has Nile as the longest river, but it may change in the future. Who knows? The debate is ongoing. There are so many articles and essays and geographers are looking into it 
and let's see what comes out of it. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification button. This world is an amazing place. We want to explore the whole world with you. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.